Well, hello everybody, it's Papa, and I've got another story to read to you, and actually it's a pretty fun story. It says, because a little bug went ka like sneezed. And so we'll get to that in just a second, but I hope you all are doing really good. I want to especially say hi to Lily and Levi. And we've been spending a lot of time with the Gales. They've been in our town in Arizona, in Gilbert. And so they've been at our house a lot. And right now they're with their other grandparents because their exciting news is their other grandparents are moving pretty close to where we live. So when they come to our town, they get to see both of their grandparents. And so right now they're over with their other grandparents. And that's a lot of fun for them to have both grandparents in the same town. So I want to say hi to Parker and Gemma and Lucy. And of course, I want to say hi to our cousins in Puerto Rico, the Johnstons. We have Isaac. I think everybody knows Isaac and Elise and Caleb and Laura and Janae. I was trying to pretend like I forgot Janae, but I can't forget Janae. So anyway, I hope everybody's doing good. We're uh, apparently getting a little bit of snow up the cabin, and that's good. It gives us a little bit more water up there, and it's a little bit cloudy and cooler than normal here. Right now, it's about 59 degrees out back. My mustache is wearing out. So anyway, I hope all of you are doing really good and I hope you like this story. And I think it's a fun one. Grandma and I went out to dinner last night and on the way back we stopped at a store and we saw this book and we thought it would be fun. So I even had to learn how to open it because it was so stiff it didn't want to open. It's a brand new book. I don't know if any of you have brand new books, but when they're brand new, sometimes they're hard to open. So I had to open it several times to see if I could get it to open all the way. Yeah, see? Okay, are you ready? I hope you are. This book is called Because a Little Bug Went... Ah, ah, got do you know how to do got ah, ah, you? Lily, can you do it? And Levi and Parker and Gemma and Lucy? Ah, and how about Isaac could probably do a huge kachu? And Elise could probably do a huge kachu. And Caleb and Laura. And Janae, I bet you can do a big ka -choo. Maybe you can send me little Marco Polos of you doing your own special ka -choo. Oh my, Grandma does a good ka -choo, and sometimes she startles me when she does it. Okay, are you ready for the story? We can practice our ka -choo's. Okay, here's this, here's this little bug sitting on a leaf. There's the sunset, and it looks like it's out by the water. Looks very nice. I hope you can see the bug. And it says, you may not believe it, but here's how it happened. One fine summer morning, a little bug sneezed. And there's the little bug there he is, the little bug. And he goes, cut you. <laughs> and when the little bug did his big, big, big sneeze, up, the flower next to him dropped a little seed. Do you see the seed falling? So he went, cut you. Whoa. That even knocked my eyebrow off. That was a big one. He went ka, ka choo And he did it so strong, it knocked off a seed right there. 
Because that sea sneeze, a little seed got dropped. Because that seed drop, a worm got hit. Look at that seed. It fell and it went cut plunk right on a little caterpillar, a little worm. So a little worm got hit in the head with the seed. Do you see that? All because of the <gasps> good chew. Because he got hit, that worm got a little bit mad. And so he jumped out of his hole. Look at his face. He doesn't look happy. He just got hit with a seed. And because of that, he got mad and he kicked a tree. Well, there he is down there. And he kicked that tree as hard as he could. It must have hurt him. But look at that tree. It had coconuts on it. Wonder what happened. Because of that kick, a coconut dropped out of that tree. It must have just been barely hanging on and it just took that little dinky kick from that worm to be just enough to go up the tree and make the coconut fall. Because that nut dropped, a turtle got bopped. It, that coconut fell right on a turtle. Bopped him right in the head. So now a seed hit a worm in the head and now a big coconut, that would really hurt. Coconut hit a turtle on the head and it looks like the turtle was just sitting on a rock out in the water and there is the coconut. That would hurt. Because he got bopped on the head, that turtle named Jake fell on his back with a splash in the lake. So he fell off the rock and he tumbled and he fell on his back into the water. And guess what? He made a big splash. So that coconut surprised him so much that he fell and he went right in the water. Isn't that exciting? Well, what do you think happened? Well, because of that splash, a hen got wet. Look at he splashes and all that splash. There was a chicken up on the, on the ground and all that water splashed on the chicken. Because the chicken got wet, they got a little bit angry. And look at that, there's an angry little chicken. Like what in the world? So because the chicken got mad, they kicked a bucket. So there was a bucket on the ground and that chicken was not happy and kicked that can. Because of that kick, that bucket went up. Because it went up, the bucket came down. Look at that. Whoa, look at that. They kicked the bucket and it goes up and around and it's coming down into a house. Where is the bucket gonna go? That hen kicked it really far. You can see here, there's the tree that the coconuts were on. And there's the rock that the turtle was on. That's where they splashed and that's where the hen kicked that bucket. Look how far they kicked that bucket. Let's see what happens. Because it came down, it hit Farmer Brown. It came right through the window and landed on Farmer Brown and there's his wife. It hit him right in the head. In fact, it covered his head. What are we gonna do? Oh no. And that bucket got stuck on his head. They cannot get it off. That bucket is now stuck on Farmer Brown's head. All this because a little bug went, ah, oh, ah, get you, woo hoo. Maybe you can practice your kachus. So then, 
Farmer Brown's wife, Mrs. Brown, she did all she could to try to pull that bucket off of Farmer Brown's head. She could not get it off. So Farmer Brown tried his best to make a phone call. That's an old fashioned phone, but he's speaking into it and he's trying to hear what they're saying, but he's calling and he's calling for help. And look in the window, there's some animals looking at like, what is going on here? Oh my, so Farmer Brown is calling for help and it looks like they've got a problem. They can't get the bucket off his head. So what's going to happen? Oh, because of his phone call, policemen were dispatched and they came running. So that's where their house is and there's the road and it goes to the police department and they called and they're on the phone talking to them and they're saying, we're gonna get some people over there right away. And there they go, there's two of them on a motorcycle that are heading over to see if they can help. So now, because that little bug did a cut, 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 choo! Ah, whoa, blew my, blew my little eyebrow off. Woo, that was a big sneeze. Because of that kachoo, we now got police officers running on a motorcycle to try to get the bucket off of Mr. Brown's head. Now, because they were speeding and going as fast as they could, they hit a big stone. And part of the motorcycle flew with the other police officer up in the sky. Oh no, it broke it apart. And there's Mr. Brown with his bucket and Mrs. Brown, and they were almost there, but they hit a rock. And now a police officer is up in the air. And so he was flying along and because he flew up, he had to come down. There he goes up over the hill and there's his companion officer trying to catch him, but he's flying and he's now falling down, down, down. He got hit so big. So what's gonna happen to the police officer? Look at that. Well, and because he came down, he fell on a boat called Mary Lou. So there's Mary Lou, it says. And this is the boat, but when he came flying down, he put a hole right in the boat. And he created a big hole. And what happens when a boat gets a big hole in it? It starts to sink. So he made a big hole in the boat called Mary Lou. And look, they were out for just a fun ride and do some fishing. And now a police officer goes right down through the boat. Oh no, and because of that hole, the boat started to sink. And because it was sinking, well, what do you think? Everyone, everyone started to yell and Mrs. Brown, called on the phone for more help. So now everybody's yelling and it's like our boat's sinking, help, help. And there's the police officer looking for his friend and all the animals and the boat's sinking. And there's the other police officer and everybody's yelling for help. And there is Mrs. Brown calling for more help. And there is her husband still with a bucket on his head. Oh my gosh. Because of her phone call, more help came very fast. They tied a strong rope to the Mary Lou's mast. So they brought a helicopter. There's a helicopter. And they had a big rope. And they let it down and they tied it to the mast of the boat just in time. Because they're going to try to lift the boat out of the water to keep it from sinking. So now we've got a big boat that's trying to sink. And because of that rope, the boat didn't go down. But it had to be fixed. So they started to town. So there they are with the helicopter and it's holding up the boat and they're 
heading to town where they can find somebody to fix the hole in the boat. And you can see everybody's with them. There's even Mr. Brown with the Pell on his head and Mrs. Brown still with the phone. And then the two police officers and there's even some cows and they're all heading to town. And because they went there, it's true I'm afraid, they ran right into a circus parade. So they were coming to town when a circus parade was just coming to the end of town. And look at all the balloons. And they've got animals. And they've got music. And there's elephants. And then here comes the boat and the police officers and Farmer Brown and his wife. We're going to have to see what happens. And that started something they'll never forget. The biggest accidental parade in the whole town's history. There were animals running and people cheering and bands and busloads of people. And the police were running around. And there's Farmer Brown and his wife. And she's still trying to call somebody else. And they've got the boat came into the parade. It was the biggest accidental parade they'd ever had. Wow. And that's how it happened. Believe me, it's true. Because just because a small bug went, cut, cut, chew! Whoa! It was all because of this little bug made all those things happen. And remember what happened first. Let's go back to the very beginning. That little bug had a big kachu and that seed fell on a worm and it started everything. Well, I hope you like this fun little book because a little bug went kachu. Woo! Maybe you can send me some Marco Polos of your kachus and let everybody see your kachu. I'd love to see that. You may have to practice. <gasps> uh, well, I love you guys, and I hope you have a great day. And remember one thing. I love you. Bye-bye, <laughs> everybody. Have a great day. Love you.